Well, it's officially winter I suppose you could say since there is now snow on the ground and it's 20 degrees out. Um, and uh, in this video I'm gonna be, you know it's been a while since I released a video and this isn't gonna be anything special, it's just gonna be uh, doing headlights on my 95 town car. I got these uh, Silver Star um, halogen bulbs that I guess are supposed to be more uh, down road, um, you know, distance because the ones that are in these cars uh, are terrible apparently. I, I've been dealing with uh, these headlights are just very dim, they're just junky um, and the housings are brand new so I was a little confused at that and I looked it up and people said that these ones are known, these town cars, that this generation of town car, Grand Marquis, uh, Crown Vic, they're all junk. 95 through 97, they just, for whatever reason, the reflector housings are just terrible. And uh, the only thing you can really do is put better bulbs in there and hope that uh, hope that you get some better results out of it. And I could have gone with LEDs, but I have no money, and uh, these were only 25 bucks, so that's what I went with. Hopefully they're better than what's in there. But uh, what I'm dealing with here is, <laughs> oh! Doors are all frozen shut. Jeez. Um, <laughs> except for the driver's door. Um, so that's kind of funny. But this video is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just gonna do a sort of install video on these headlights, and really, you shouldn't have to have an install video for these because, like I said, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can do it pretty much you know, on your own, but uh, there is a couple of things that you want to make sure to get on these, so I'm just going to make a video on it, because it's been a long time since I recorded something, and I wanted to do a video, so, get this, I probably should just clean the snow off of it, but I'm too lazy, so I'm not doing that. Um, so anyway, first thing you're gonna see here is these little doors, and take them doors off. Oh my god, everything's so frozen. There is your headlight. You know, these only have one headlight, it's a unilens, unibulb. So you got your low beams and your high beams all in one light. Um, so you just take those off and now how you're doing that is this is a retainer ring here and unlike a normal headlight where you put it in and you turn the headlight clockwise or counterclockwise to get the bulb to stay in, these ones you don't have that, it's just this ring here and you just turn the ring counterclockwise and the whole thing comes out just like that and this one is all crusty and hard to get out, come on you little thing. <clears throat> so there's one. Oops. Well, that bulb's touched snow, so that's not good. And then over here, look at that, that's ice. Just turn the other one counterclockwise, pull that guy out. And I got two. So, so, now, put your retainer ring forward and get a little flat blade screwdriver and take off that little clip right there and the bulb should come right off. Okay, so there's your bulb. There's a new one. And now what you just do here with this, you take this retainer ring off of this, like that. Make sure it's facing the right way. The cupped part goes towards the headlight and you stick it on your new one. Just like that. Here you go. And then you do the same thing with the other one and uh, and stick it in. I, I want to make sure that these are the right... Uh... Yeah, it looks pretty close. It should work. Okay, so once you have it in the, in the thing, all you do to put it on here is you see that little rubber ring right there? You just stick that into the housing and see it doesn't turn or anything. The bulb just sort of stays in there. And that seals it. And then put your retainer ring... You gotta get it, and there we go. And then just turn that clockwise, or you know, towards the left, 
until it won't turn anymore. Give the bulb a good tug, and there you go. There's one headlight installed. I'll do the other one here, and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, that one was a little bit harder, but I got that one in. And just FYI on these, the clip is supposed to be facing up. I figured that out when I was trying to get this one in, and it just wouldn't go in. So I had to turn the clip up, and that, and then it worked. But let's turn these things on and see how they work, huh? Well, I've got light up there, so... So they don't actually look all that different from uh, the regular ones. I guess what uh, some people online, you know, or I guess some, what some people think is that the Silver Star are going to come out as a whiter light, like it says on the package. But these are still halogen color. You can tell very clearly these are halogen bulbs. You're not going to fool anybody by thinking these are HIDs or anything like that. So uh, all in all, though, I mean, it doesn't really seem brighter, but uh, I am going to adjust them a little bit. That one looks a little different than the other one, doesn't it? That's kind of weird. Anyway, there you go, headlight installation, and I'm going to adjust them. I'm not going to do it on camera, though, because really, I'm not entirely sure of how you're supposed to do it, <clears throat> but uh, I know that you've got, these are your anchor ports of where your uh, headlight housing is mounted to your frame. Um, and I think there should be two ones with bolts on the ends of them. I think it's this one and this one, but I'm not certain on that. And you turn the bolts to turn the housing. But again, I don't know for sure because I have never done it. So I'm going to have to find out on my own here. But there you go. That's a high change your headlights on a 1995 through 97 Lincoln Town Car. And I think it's pretty much the same for all the Panther platforms. So both the Grand Marquis and the Crown Vic is pretty much the same procedure. You just have to, uh, you know, make sure you get those retainer rings on and off correctly. And uh, your headlights should stay in place. So there you go. And uh, hopefully I'll have more content coming out more, uh, as it gets colder. Because I won't have much to do outside of the shop here. Because it'll be so cold outside. So I'll see you when I see you. And uh, yeah.